fine with Why, me. did somebody say something? <laughs> <laughs> and now, for something completely different. You didn't really think I had a haircut, did you? The new Vatira, Glamis, you know. A one eighth scale two wheel drive buggy. Yes, Thrill Seeker Productions are moving into something a little different. For years I've always wanted a car, looked around a few times, but pretty expensive. Well, I've been looking now and Horizon Hobbies have bought out a new brand, the Vatira brand, and uh, these cars are affordable. And when you watch on the net, I mean, I've done a lot of research, go to YouTube, have a look. These things are durable. I mean, my kids' ones, the first day they had them, they hit the gutter and bang, we were in down getting parts and what have you. These things look very durable these days and very fast with brushless motors and LiPo batteries, waterproof. Let's get it out of the box and have a close look. Really been looking forward to this. The packaging is really good, comes well packed in there. In the side we have the Spectrum DX2L radio. In the other side box we've got the battery, the manual and the charger. Right, we've got it out of the box and I can tell you, I've never had one so I don't know but this feels weighty to me, it's uh, nice and look at that size. We'll have a look at that in a minute, we'll just check what we've got with it. You get your speed pack. 3000 milliamp 2S battery. I noticed this is only a 20C, I'm sure with uh, the accessory batteries you buy afterwards and uh, using this I'll be using 30 to 40C I think. But this pack will do the job. Be right back, I'm gonna go and get this on charge. Speaking of charge, you get a charger with it, a plug for your area. This is Australia, so we've got that one. Um, from what I've read, this is a slow charger. But if you haven't got a charger, it'll do the job until you do get a better one. You get a bag of some spare plastic bits. I guess they might be the bits that break more regularly than others, I'm not sure. I haven't, haven't seen too many com people complain about broken parts on this machine. It uh, seems to be quite durable. You get some spanners for doing your maintenance. Also in here is the cog that you need if you're gonna run this on 3S, because this car's set up to run on 3S, you can just put a 3S battery in or a 2S. But they recommend if you're running 3S to put this different gear on. You also get a little rubber seal. I'm not sure where it's from or where it goes, but you get that as well. Or Sony batteries. My goodness, not some cheap brand. And a very comprehensive manual. I've looked at this on the net before I got the car. I know a few things we've got to do. We'll go through it in a minute, but you're really going to want to um, read this manual because it's got a lot of information, especially if you're like me and a learner that's never ever driven cars before. There's a few tips in here that you've got to look at. The radio is the new Spectrum DX2L. Now, from again, reading on the net, because this car's been out for nearly a year now, but reading on the net, this is a top range radio to be getting for your first car in a ready to roll package. So it's just ready to drive. It comes with everything. This feels really smooth. You've got your trigger, your throttle. Pushing forward is brake and reverse. It's got all the usual switches, trims, a little feature that I'm gonna be using. It's got a three-way switch here on the throttle. You can have high, medium, or low. Like I'm going to start on low, naturally, I've never driven a car before, I'm going to get used to it first on low, then I'll move up to medium, and when I'm down the oval and got a bit of space, yes, we'll get on high and see how it goes. As said, from everything I've read, this is quite a nice little entry level radio, and uh, being a Spectrum, you know it's going to be good. Okay, let's have a close up look at this car. It is very well made. Aluminium, aluminium frame waterproof on off switch, all the electronics are waterproof in this. It's got a 3300 kV motor. As mentioned before, it runs beautiful on 2S, exceptionally fast. Something like 90 kilometers an hour on the 3S. And look at it, it just looks so nice. The detail is so good. This plastic feels strong, it's uh, thick. 
four independent oil field shockers, all adjustable. You can adjust the oil on them and that. You can buy a light kit that goes in here if you want to put lights on it to do some night stuff. Cockpit looks very good. In there is your 70 amp waterproof esk. It's got a little fan on the top which keeps it cool. The diff on this is a viscous torque vectoring diff. It's a, uh, what it basically is, is a limited slip diff. So when you're going around corners and what have you, as you're digging in, you won't get wheel spin and slip. You'll be able to, uh, it'll just work like a limited slip diff. Underneath the battery bay has got a nice little uh, lever there just to get it in, then finger under the front, and you've got a huge compartment in there. From what I've heard, you can fit a 5,000 milliamp battery in there. It's going to really uh, give you a long run time. So I reckon you get about 10 minutes from the 3,000, so looking good. I don't really know a lot more technical stuff about cars, so I can't tell you that. Complete novice myself. Alloy bash plate there, an alloy at the back as well. These tyres look chunky. And speaking of the tyres, I lashed out when I bought mine and bought a new set of rims and a set of paddle tyres. I bought the chrome wheel for the back for this paddle tyre. Now these are for in the sand because the Glamis is based on a sand rail from the famous Glamis uh, sand hills which are in Southern California. If you've never seen what the real buggies are like down there, have a look on YouTube. Uh, just put in the Glamis and you'll, you, buggies and you'll come up with some really interesting footage. The cars are enormous, the power amazing, and uh, that's exactly what they've copied this after. It says in the manual that the Glamis Uno comes already bound to the transmitter you've got. So all we should need to do is turn on our Spectrum transmitter, just like you do for the aeroplanes. Turn it on first and last. And then the waterproof switch here, I've fitted the battery. Just turn it on. You can hear that ESC fan spinning away there, keeping the ESC nice and cool. Steering works the right way. Let's just see what the throttle does. Yes, it works. Now, it says before you use it, you've got to run the diff in. And to do that, one wheel on the ground and one off, and then give it about an eighth throttle. And just run it for a few seconds. Do that on the other side. Now it says 30 seconds. I just double checked in the manual. 30 seconds is quite a long while, you know. About eight throttle. It says to do it two or three times. So I'll get this done. Easy to do, but one of them things you've got to do because you're breaking in the limited slip diff here. Okay, all done. I might just give that a motor a little bit of a run. That's on low. I've got it flat. As you can see, it's not very fast. Click it up to medium on the transmitter. Here it goes a bit faster, but it's still not flat out. Okay, this is flat out, so we'll just run that motor a bit. Sounds quite good, nice and quiet. Brake when you push forward. So you can brake as well with this. These new things are great. I love the touch with the green as well. Looks very nice, little green nuts on top of your uh, shocks, front and back. This is a very quality built looking machine. Well, I'm really looking forward to this. There's not a lot more I can really show you here because you've seen it all. It looks great, we've looked at it all. Again, I'd like to thank Mike from OMP. He, uh, Helped me out immensely when I was looking at what I wanted to get. Suggested a few different cars and uh, made my own mind up. This is the one I chose. But uh, again, thanks Mike. Your help was invaluable there. We'll catch you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye all. Okay, here we are. First run just out the front. We'll just see what it goes like. And give it a go. Never done it before. Only going to be in low and just see how we go.
considering I've never ever used one of these before, it's fairly easy to uh, get the hang of it. I can see when I get to somewhere with a bit of space, that suspension just soaks it all up. And remember, this is in low on the throttle. I wonder what medium's like. Oh, I can see this is gonna be fun. And that brake works really good as well. You got your reverse. Okay, let's put her on high. Geez, the neighbors are gonna love me, aren't they? Well, as you can see, it goes. That was great fun. I can't wait until I can get to the, down to somewhere good with some jumps and everything, and Corinne will be on the camera. But that's our first look at it. Hope you've all enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. And uh, as I said before, thanks to all the boys down at OMP who helped me out in choosing this vehicle. It was great. I better get inside and clean this, it's filthy. Oh, better get this mess cleaned up before Corinne sees it. Oh, she doesn't even know I've bought a car yet. She's gonna kill me when she finds out I've started on cars as well as planes and helicopters.